Katie Boyle, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I just found out on YouTube if you put it up and you curse within the first like seven minutes of the episode that they make you uh they give you partial monetization. <laughs> so don't curse for seven minutes. <laughs> Oh, that's so good to know. I yeah, curse yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. That's why I was like, uh oh, I yeah. better figure this out. No, 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 that's really, yeah. Yeah, no, but after eight minutes, just have a ball. Then you can just do whatever you want. F away. Yes. <laughs> yeah, curse it up. But anyway, Katie Boy, I'm so glad you're doing this podcast. Me too. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. You're a little Irish lady. So this that's, should be fun. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, can you tell by the way she's talking? She's Irish. Hello. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a comic in New York for a long time. How long have you been here? Uh, Like eight and a half years. And you started in... I started here when I moved over. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought you started in uh, no. Ireland. No. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you like... Do you wish you started in Dublin? No. I feel like uh, I'm glad I started here and I didn't have any of that. You know, when people start in other places, they come, they're like a big fish, small pe- pond. Yeah. They're all like... Ooh, I don't want to do this open mic. I didn't. Yeah, even, yeah. I didn't know anything about stand up, so I was just like doing three open mics a night, kind of like yeah. anything to stop the thoughts. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta stop those yeah. thoughts. I get that very yeah. much. So yeah, but where are you from originally in Ireland? Kildare. Kildare. Yeah. Where's that? Oh, that sounds fun. It's beside uh, Dublin. The town I'm from is where Arthur Guinness was from, where the first ever uh, pint of Guinness was made. Oh, yeah. so you had no choice but to drink. Yeah, I mean, you don't have any choice when you're from Ireland. Yeah. But we're not, like, not to perpetuate the alcoholic stereotype. Of course not. We just like to drink and there's not a lot to do on the weekends. Okay, I get it. Yeah, rolling hills. Yeah. It's a lot easier to run down them when you're hammered. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Fonzie. That was a love little <laughs> Fonzie, everybody, with the giggle and the come through. Okay. But uh okay. So what did you do as a kid? Did you have any activities? Um like Like what is what does a child do in Ireland? Uh it, I guess it depends if you're like from the city or outside I was from outside the city and then mm-hmm. my dad lived in the countryside. So when I would go down there I'd like ride horses and um mm. just um uh, that we would like make cars out of pallets and like you know so not really cars they just wheels stuck to pallets and then just go down hills and not die oh uh, or like look for animals or or get the cows to chase you if you go into a field yeah uh, sometimes the cows will chase you so it's basically an episode of tommy boy i feel like <laughs> I, I haven't seen that you haven't seen tommy boy no no oh it's a movie with chris farley it's great okay yeah 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 but basically they go cow tipping no we, we wouldn't do that that's bad that's bad. You don't want to hurt the cow. No, that's See, crazy. Respectful, Americans. very respectful. Well, in the movie, he doesn't succeed. He falls in mud and gets stepped on and is covered oh. in poop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I play sports and stuff. Yeah. What sports did you play? Well, we have like uh, Gaelic football. We have hurling, which is the female of that is camogie, uh, basketball. Camogie. Yeah, I I know of hurling. I have a hurling stick in my apartment yeah so if you were to play it technically it would be called camogie i don't know why but when women play it it's called camogie and when men play it it's called hurling that's sexist i i mean it's sexist is it like, is, it, is it a sexist country <laughs> uh, it's getting better because it's hard to like it i felt like when i first moved here people would say things and i'm like oh that wouldn't be sexist in ireland because we just that's just normal yeah um but then as i'm i'm like oh yeah maybe that is sexist but then also we have like abortion rights and gay marriage mm-hmm. and so we are we're becoming like very progressive i feel so i think it's getting much better well that's good yeah yeah Congrats. Well, when I grew up, it was like you yeah know. you guys are going forward and we're going backwards that's yeah, it's exciting weird, isn't yeah it? yeah 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 well they say it ebbs and flows yeah Ugh. we're on the up you're on the down yeah 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 and you know what rightfully show we've had it too good for too long <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need a battle oh god all right so your parents are divorced yeah okay and were they both drinkers um my dad doesn't drink a lot no he's he's pretty he just likes coca-cola he likes coca-cola <laughs> yeah oh but he's a policeman so and he was always yes. like the designated driver so yeah he doesn't drink oh, a lot no he's a good man and then my mother i haven't talked to in like 15 years but like i think she liked to drink she wasn't like i don't think she was a big drinker either wow She's 15 just like years mentally unwell but uh, okay <laughs> I don't right. think it had anything to do with booze <laughs> What do you mean? Like, what kind of mentally? Uh, do you want to talk about? We don't have to talk. Oh, about yeah, it. no, it's fine. It's like undiagnosed just because she won't get it diagnosed. People get your shit diagnosed. <laughs> um, in Ireland, it's better to be crazy than labeled crazy, which is really bad. Yes. There is a stigma against mental health. Get help. But again, it's like getting better. But a lot of people won't go to therapy or they won't just be like, 
And, and the problem with people who are like, you know, extremely mentally unwell, who don't want to get help, I don't think they think they don't need help. Ah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, because even with my mother, like I cut her out, my dad left, you know, but it's, she's still like, no, there's nothing wrong with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's okay. you. You're the problem. Yeah, you can't yeah. hack it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I would say it's like, I'm, well, I don't know because I'm not a psychiatrist, but maybe like borderline or I don't know. Because then I read all these things. I'm like, that's it. And then I read another thing. I'm like, that's it. I mean, hey, she could <laughs> have them all. maybe just like demonic. You yeah. Know? <laughs> could be possession. So. What would she, can I ask what she would do? Like what's um, the behavior like? So like within a day, it could be like four seasons in the house because mm-hmm. she would, uh, she could be like happy, but then she'd be like throwing plates, like just at, in oh, your vicinity. We would never okay. like hit you. So, yeah. but just like at you or, uh, or if you said something like, um, I really like water, she'd be like, I'm, what do you mean? I'm a terrible mother. Do you know what I mean? Like your words were always like, yes. did I, did I, do I not know English? Cause that's definitely not what I said. Yeah. And then very gaslighty and manipulative and mm-hmm. just very argumentative. And yeah, it, could, yeah. it just was like very World War Three in the house. Yeah. That's gotta be tough. Yeah, yeah, definitely. How yeah. old were you when you cut her out? 18. Wow. Yeah, I walked You became out of an there. adult and you were like, bye. Yeah, it was a few months after I was 18, but like, um, it was some my childhood best friend. She like went psycho at him. And I think when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's not okay. But you know, when it's like to you, yeah. you're like, it's okay. But then I was like, oh, no, this yeah, is not yeah, okay. Yeah. Now, this is like coming into like my outside life. And she didn't never wanted me to leave the house. And there was like loads of things like uh, growing up. But um, that was just kind of the cut off. And I just like walked out of the house with like whatever was in my school bag and just. Really? Yeah. It was like a maths book. And I'm not even that good at maths. Uh, oh, God. And a calculator. Yeah. God, you had to bring the heaviest one. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. So uh, and yeah. And then I just lived with my dad and stayed with a friend. I went back to pick up some clothes. But other than that, I don't have anything from like my childhood. Nothing. Yeah. No, which is fine, though. No, no sentimental knickknacks. No cuddly the bear. No, only whatever was in my dad's house. But yeah, nothing, nothing. Oh. So that she must have been pretty rough. Oh yeah, she's the devil. You know, <laughs> and like I recently got a comment on my Instagram because I made a joke about like uh, not wanting to ever do weed because my dad said it released mental health issues, and I was like, "There's definitely shit in my family." Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. Fucking doing it. Yeah, uh, and like this, why risk it? <laughs> yeah, this woman who's obviously like friends with my mother which by the way if she's listening which she's probably not that's not gonna last because it doesn't usually last with my mother but Mm -hmm. she like made some like mean comment and then like and then gaslit me in the response to my comment so I was like oh that makes sense that you're friends with my mother but um but also it was like just so easy for people to make a judgment because they're like oh well I met her she seems nice it's like yeah we didn't live with her you're not and it's just it's crazy when it's parents because it's like and it's crazy when it's female parents. Because if it's a dad and you're like, yeah, he's a dick. People are like, fuck him. Typical yeah, dad. Yeah, he didn't even show up. Yeah. He's a loser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. when it's a mother, they're like, oh, she gave birth to you. And it's like, yeah, but that doesn't mean I deserve to be emotionally traumatized every yes. day of my life. Um, yeah. And, and it's like also, I didn't... It, if I'm not, if I'm cutting off my mother, it's not because she didn't get me a pony. There's a very yeah, yeah. good reason, <laughs> you know. There's and it's a like, big reason. If you want to come comment, don't comment on my page. Go live with her for yeah, a year. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Bring your husband because yeah. let's see how you'll like when she messes with him. <laughs> oh, really? One of those? Uh, she's one of everything. Like even when wow. I cut her off, she. Uh, she I I left I moved in with my dad or I was like living part-time with my dad and living part because I was still in school Mm -hmm. and then uh, and then when I finished school I had a boyfriend who lived in the opposite side of the town so I ended up like still living in the opposite side of town I wasn't living with him at the time but I wanted to stay like I had a job there yeah it was easy to travel to it was a town that was easy to travel to college well actually not that easy now I think about it but anyway my point is (laughs) it's still two hours away from college I should just move to Dublin but yeah. I was still living in this town, but it's a big, there's like 10, over 10,000 people in this town. So it's easy to avoid people, but 10,000 uh, people. I mean, I guess that's Jeez, not that. That's a very small town. Okay. Well, <laughs> it was extremely it was, small. It, people, if people are from this town, they'll know it's easy to avoid if you live on the hill versus the far end. So I grew up living on the hill, but then I moved to the far end and it feels like different countries nearly sometimes. Like people on the hill stay up there. <laughs> the hill people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, I was working in this bar and one day she came in and she was like dry humping the owner. And I guess she had started dating him, but she would like, I would pick up glasses around her and she would just like aggressively kiss him in front of me but we weren't talking and then nobody in my workplace knew that she was my mother oh and they would always be like God. did you see the boss's new slut and I'm like yeah <laughs> she's crazy yeah. literally stay away from her yeah so then uh yeah so that that sort of stuff do you know like it's all like mind yeah. games and because like yeah because or even like 
She's never contacted me, which she's not going to be listening to this. But if anybody who knows her listens to this, don't tell her to contact me because that's the best thing she's ever done. But, <laughs> wow. We're, this is therapy. Yeah. I feel like. A <laughs> Sorry. Bit. But yeah. uh, no, but, this is good. Get it out. Let it go. But um, another thing like with manipulation and stuff is she'll like say things to my I have like two cousins, one that I'm really close to and one that I like stay a little bit in contact. But they feel bad sometimes because like when my cousin came to visit she like gave her a card with money being like this is for Katie but yet she had never talked to me and never and I had left her a ton of money when I left so yeah because I had like a check there for 2000 that I got for being the half million born baby that would work would be cashable when I'm 18 it's like this weird thing anyway but I left it there as like what the hell is that I know it's sorry anyway I a half million baby of what in like a hospital born in a hospital so they gave you two grand for being born they said yeah it was to that I could cash when I'm 18 it was one of these things that would would if you make it that long yeah yeah yeah, right (laughs) but I left that there and like I never like got money from my grandmother's um, will or whatever which is fine Uh, but I was kind of like okay like I've paid my so for her to like send over a card but it was wasn't for me it was to like manipulate my cousin yes. you know my cousin's like oh but she's like and I'm like this is all just because she could easily also just call, like contact yeah. me and be like do we want to talk about and she tried to get me cancelled off my podcast as well which was, really yeah yeah but I'm not represented by that agency so what so it's how like, she tried to get you cancelled she wrote a, they she got her sister to write a letter to the agency that was like oh just like this podcast shouldn't be on the air blah blah blah. she said that in the letter she said like oh my daughter accused me of sexual assault which I never did and I never said that in the episode and it was with Des at the time and Des was like these gaslighting oh my god (laughs) yeah they just like I think they also just hear things wrong because anybody would listen to that episode I never because of my she didn't do that no one as as a child did that to me so but yes whoa to you I said no one's done it to me yeah yeah so she thought she was getting accused of doing it to you yeah she thought I accused her but she just I I never said that in the podcast but what me and Des talked about was having emotionally abusive parents and she said she just probably zoned in on abuse she said to say the word abuse people will think that that means sexual abuse and now people are looking at her in the town thinking she's sexually which is like such a leap yeah (laughs) but yeah yeah Yeah, they're like they're like no everybody in the town already knows you're nuts yeah 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 (laughs) so we don't think it's sexual we think it's brain it's all you yeah (laughs) yeah yeah. so so yeah so to answer your question no I don't know if she drank a lot (laughs) (laughs) I forgot what we were even talking about no Oh, don't apologize. That's yeah. wild. Yeah. But good for you for getting out. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Let's well, let's cheer it up a bit. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Let's go to our deepest, darkest <laughs> things that have happened to us while we've been drinking. Uh that's cheerful, yeah. right? Okay. I uh so when did you start drinking? I feel like in Ireland you start drinking at birth. Yeah, I started at like twelve or thirteen. Twelve? Yeah. And it's like parents know about it and it's fine. No. Well, I mean, I let's not forget I mean, the parents. They're fine, again. like I think sixteen to seventeen, maybe. Yeah. Um what's the legal age? 18 18 yeah so like if you're like you know when I was back home like I would see like 17 year olds at the bar and stuff and I think it's kind of like whatever but yeah yeah, yeah like ter- 12 to 13 you're not, yeah. you know, like your parents will be like no bad but yeah uh, you do anyway yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah what will you drink um like nagins of vodka so they're like little bottles of vodka you just down Ooh. um so yeah vodka <laughs> Gross. It's like basically yeah. sipping arsenic it's crazy because all of my teens like i drank a lot and i blacked out most of it and <laughs> i would just always consistently, oh so you black out <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah always and just consistently fall asleep in the bathroom so it <laughs> wasn't really like a fun time no it was just always drink as much as you can until you pass out it's like crazy wow yeah is that the, like the first time you remember drinking is blacking out I don't even remember the first time I drank. I don't remember. I don't have like a moment that I was like, oh, this. Or wait, I think I remember having a can like with my cousin and smoking a cigarette. But I think I pretty much started smoking cigarettes before I was drinking. But yeah. Really? Yeah. Cigarettes. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. I mean, still. I still look at someone with a cigarette. I'm like, yeah. Sexy. Look at you. Yeah. Like a man with tattoos smoking a cigarette. I'm just like, oh, my God. Hi. (laughs) You'd hurt me emotionally and physically. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You're my worst nightmare. But um, I'm also attracted to you very much. Oh, my God. I was in Denver this weekend and we had a soul cycle instructor. The opposite of smoking. Okay, But this guy, he was so hot. His name was Dylan. Shout out to Dylan. But also, if you hear this, I 
you were a nightmare. So he's so hot, just ripped, you know, full sleeve of tattoos, long hair, oh, hip, but like he would say the dumbest shit. You're like, thank you. I was just like, thank God you have that mouth. But he's probably cleaning up. We went to so it's like it happened to be his birthday, and he has like a cult following. Of like ten women were wearing shirts with his face on it. Jesus. They're like ready to do the Soul Cycle class, and he's just like, I mean, he was just like, here, hold these weights in your hands, pretend it's the soul of someone next to you, <laughs> and then at the end, he was just like, yeah, uh, <laughs> this song is really deep. I mean, it doesn't get enough credit for being as deep it is as it is but it's a beautiful song and it's this land is your land this land is my land have you ever heard of anything dumber in your life I can't even. just a man being sincere full yeah. sincerity being like this song is beautiful the song that gaslights native americans yeah <laughs> A song that is totally <laughs> horrific. It's a totally genocide. Just trying to be like, colonization is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's glorifying genocide. Yeah, this and land like, is, your land is what it Brits did to Ireland. Yeah. Like, oh, but it's my land. We're yeah. like, no. It's our <laughs> land. Nah, -uh, not when you kill us. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. God. Um, I, uh, I wonder, do the women like put his t-shirt on a pillow and just like ride his face? I mean, they got it. I mean, I would, they put it on the seat afterwards. <laughs> they just put it on the seat and they just have a seat and then they're doing the, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. those, yeah, those seats are intrusive. Yeah. We'll call them intrusive. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But I always find when someone's like really hot and talking to me, I'm like, I find it like, a personal offense i'm like excuse you sir i have a boyfriend yeah. <laughs> you know, that'd be this hot around it's me. like i'm just asking you for directions <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like, yeah. i'm taken yeah, i can't yeah. even <laughs> oh my god like yeah. he was the kind of hot where you start to giggle yeah. you know and you don't yeah. even know why you're like oh, okay yeah, yeah. you know and then um but then he spoke and i was just like me and jill wiener were in the class being like who is this freaking dweeb He's a nightmare human. Yeah, thank God. Yeah, so yeah. So, so he has that going for him. He's got the looks, but boy, oh yeah. boy. But I bet he cleans up in Denver. That's some Denver yeah. shit, you know. The Denver like, hey, we're all just a community of hemp. Ugh. You know, <laughs> that's it. I'll never get on board with that. No, no, no. you shouldn't. You don't have to, yeah. okay? Yeah. This guy was too much. No. And he was just like, oh, this is what he said. My face is on T-shirts. That means I, I can stop, right? Like I've made it. Oh, like, no. I don't need to strive for the attention anymore. And oh. I was just like, you shouldn't be anyway. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Stop it. You're a soul cycle instructor yeah. in Denver. Yeah. Fucking stop. Yeah. Anyway, God bless him. I hope he's doing well. Happy birthday, Dylan. <sighs> oh, boy. I always find it weird and comedians do it. And it's like general American culture as well to put your face on things. You guys put it on like holiday cards. I do this because it's like whatever. But like <laughs> <laughs> holiday cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like well every known. well, because everybody who does holiday cards is just trying not to say Happy Christmas. <laughs> yes, yeah. you know what I mean. No one else. It's just yeah. like Christians. Seasons greetings. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> fuck off. Yeah. Uh, like your non-Christian friends and your Christian friends don't want that card. But uh, yeah, but it's like yeah, with your face on it, it's so embarrassing. We never do that in Ireland. So then I f <laughs> like struggle with like you know in comedy, they're always like people are like oh like draw your face or you should put your face on magnets and so like I, I just I've done one with like my photo but like a joke over it but I'm always like you should buy the one with the cat I drew because I yeah, just yeah, feel yeah. like this is like I feel like obnoxious yeah I sell stickers of um the depiction of a joke so I like have jizz raccoon stickers oh nice yeah 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 and so it's yeah. a raccoon in a dumpster with it's his mouth best. uh foaming yeah I have a couple of magnets with like little drawings of yeah it. but then people are like we want the picture of you and I'm like oh, it's so embarrassing. that's so creepy well, yeah, you but know? it sells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd be so uncomfortable if I sold a picture of myself. I I'd know. Be like, I really sold out, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Katie Boyle. Oh, she's got the cute moles. All right. I got it. I do not have cute moles. I have weird moles, and they're mostly on my back. Jerk off to that, America. Uh, anyway <laughs> yeah. I remember when I first started dating my boyfriend he's like not my type because he's so sweet and lovely and he's just physically not my type either because uh, I usually like like um, like uh, like you know when he's like he's built, what is <laughs> you know, like, is that, like, a, is that like, on look Tinder? like he'll beat me you know <laughs> is that a box you could take on okay cupid where, where he's like tall and stuff and now he has a beard i made him grow that um but before he didn't <laughs> oh, he just Leland. looked like a soft sweetheart Jesus. i know <laughs> he's a soft little cuck i hate those but, but he's he so makes great it work. <laughs> you know so and then he and when we first started dating he was like he dressed like very like kind of kiddish which since we've been dating i'm like you can like you're like a man shirt, you know. Anyway, I'm going to hell. 
Why was I why hope Leland's this listening up? to this? Why did I bring this up? I don't know. You were just telling us how much you hate your no, boyfriend. No, I love my boyfriend. You said something, and I was like, oh, that'll be funny to say. And now I can't remember. No, no, no. It's too late. We all know. What were we yeah. talking about? Oh, moles on the back. Yeah. When I first did. Oh, it's going to get hotter well, for him. So, yeah, because Oscar Iden, who's like one of my best friends, and I was saying like how, because I like all my exes have had sleeves or like tattoos mm. or like, you know, every what we talked about, they all smoke cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. And they were all like low violent. Um, <laughs> just a touch yeah and alcoholics yeah i really love them um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so i was like he's just like not my type and then this like like this gorgeous guy walked by who's like obviously oscar's type and he was like you see you could go for a guy like that who's like on the model but probably has like moles on his back and then i just thought it was really funny because leland has moles on his back and he's what's wrong with moles why why was that the nothing's wrong with moles yeah, it was a very unless they're cancerous <laughs> yes it's yes. suspicious moles very bad <laughs> yeah. but i do i have a lot of skin tag <laughs> yeah, so do I. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. It's fine. You're still hard. I got a scar from getting one removed. Put that shirt down. I mean, it's not that kind of podcast. Good God. <laughs> oh, they they start to split creep. the monetization or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's fucking. Oh, here we go. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so drinking when I was younger. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just drank a lot. A lot. You just drank a lot. Oh, Did nice. you ever do anything embarrassing? Um, yeah. I'm. Just things I would have said. I I would, I would. The thing is, I would think it was embarrassing the next day, like the fear. But then people are like, "You're so fun. You dance on tables," and it's like, yeah, kind of annoying because like, well, you're getting my phone and I don't remember it. That's yeah, like, that's the worst. Really frustrating. Oh, I'm, just, I'm so happy for you. You got to yeah, enjoy yeah. me. Yeah, I would like to enjoy Katie. me. Fuck you. I want to yeah. remember her. But yeah, yeah like oh, oh, embarrassing things, like saying I love. Like I remember I dated an alcoholic. And we both said I love you. We were like dating. Like we'd been like together a week. Yeah, that's pretty embarrassing. I mean, that's not that. If he said it back, then it's not embarrassing. I know, but we were crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most embarrassing thing you've done. <laughs> like, I, mean, I said how I truly felt to a man, and it was awful. Yeah, I um, I quit like drinking as much when like something happened that I was like, oh, I don't like that. So then I was like, you know what? I need to be like a little sober because I do blackout and stuff like that. And so, and then with comedy, so I yeah. rarely, I'll have like one crazy, like when I first started dating, dating Leland, that was like my crazy day. And I was like puking the next day and you were oh. like holding my hair back. And I was like, Wah. thank God you have moles on your back. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I have cute moles. You should be grateful. <laughs> yeah. But uh, most recently I went out with my friends and I just like went on a complete piss up and I, uh, I just hate staying out really late. And well, with my Irish friends here, they'll usually end up in a lock-in. And I try to only see them a little bit because I, I find it hard to... Like, I'll give an example of them. When I brought my uh, Peruvian friend on a Christmas holiday with them, like a Christmas mm. when the pandemic happened and yeah. we couldn't go anywhere. So we went away and rented a house. I told her, whatever you do, don't put your glass down because they'll just keep refilling it. Like they drink, and she's like, "Oh, I drink loads. It's fine." And I was like, "No, you don't understand." Yeah. And so then she, they just kept refilling her wine, and at twelve o'clock, I couldn't find her, and she was in the bedroom, hung out the window, vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, "Spot the not Irish." <laughs> but yeah, so they can like poison you, not meaning to, because they, they're just yeah. trying to have fun, and they'll always be like, "My, let me get my turn," and then you're trying to be like, "Oh shit, I, I need to get them a drink," so you're trying to keep up with yeah. it. Yeah. But yeah, uh, so the last time I was like so drunk and I stayed out with two lads to like 7 a.m., which is insane. I didn't realize because it was yeah. a lock-in. But then all of a sudden- it's a lock-in? They just closed the door. And a lot of time, like in some of these Irish bars, there's no windows. So you don't even know that it's, you go outside and it's bright and you're like, what happened? There's no windows in Irish bars? That sounds Some terrifying. of them, there's one called Falcha. And I don't know if I should say this. So anyway, they're like, it's like da- you go down a little bit when you go in and then they just lock the door and then you're just in there for forever. And at one point, like- How it do was, you get out? You go like back up to the bounce and say, let me out. But then it's like daytime. It's like you've, you're stepping into a different time zone or something. It's That's got to be a fire code violation or something. I mean, something. okay, so never mind. It's not Falcha. It's a, <laughs> it's a howdy doody do. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been there. Yeah, howdy yeah, yeah. doody. Dangerous. It's fun, though, because you can kind of like feel the vibes change. So you go in. It's like people who just stay out till four. And then from four to five, you start to see like an other crowd come in. And then like people start smoking cigarettes. And then so whenever 6 a.m. came, started these guys are fur coats came in and I was like I am too old to be in a place where there's men in fur coats <laughs> so I, was that like, a, I thought that's an old guy thing I don't know they they were like they walked in like they had their own music playing type of thing you know? <laughs> were they young like a pot no they were like older they had like yeah, yeah, like yeah. big fur jackets it's like what I would see in like an 80s New York movie and I was like 
this stopped being like yeah this isn't fun this anymore. is not my vibe I'm i need to go in a room yeah, with yeah. the mafia yeah exactly <laughs> so i was like to my friends we gotta go and then i went home and my boyfriend like woke up and he was like did you have fun and i was like it is not acceptable for me to stay at this late he said you need to text me and tell me to come home um and he was like it's fine you're like an adult and i was like oh whatever. i feel like everybody's got a i have a first coat story I was getting drunk near uh, in Crown Heights. There's a place called Q's Tavern. Great bar. Great little bar. Um, they only serve drinks in plastics. So like if you order a kit bottle of beer, they pour it in a plastic cup and they give it to <laughs> they you. Just it's that kind of yeah. place. Yeah. They're like, we're not messing around. Yeah. Okay. Here, just drink it. They have then, our type there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We're not doing dishes. Nothing. You know? And so it was, uh, so we, we were hanging out there after a shift and a guy came in full fur coat and I was like, I love your fur coat. Can I try it on? He was like, yeah, his name was Magic. Oh, wow. Yes. His yeah. name was Magic. He was an older gentleman. <laughs> he was very nice. He let me wear it. And then he tried to sell me a fur coat. <laughs> I thought you were going to try I thought you were, that sentence was he tried to sell me. Because the whole time I had, he was, I was like, he's a pimp. He's a pimp. He's a pimp. Oh, no, <laughs> no. He tried to sell me. No, I think I still, then my friend gave him, I felt guilty. I was still young and I was newly single. And she was like, you should go on a date with him to get a fur coat. And I was like, I'm not going to go on a date with this guy. He's like 60. And she was just like, no, you should do it. And I was like, no, no, no. But then I got super drunk and I gave him my number. And so he called me it's and, like, he, hey, it's and he left. It. He was like, hey, it's magic. I'd like to take you out, show you a good time. Oh. I really loved it. You're a lovely lady. You're a woman. You're a woman. And I want to treat a woman well. I would love to take you out. And, just, and it, he like repeated himself six uh-huh. times. And I was like, oh, this man is not well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. In one way, though, I'm like, that's it. It's lovely magic. I yeah, lovely to, magic. I am a woman. He said the nicest things. He never tried to call again, <laughs> which was nice. You know, oh, sometimes they call and call and call. Yeah. It was just like, I mean, he magic. Already said it multiple times. I mean, I thought he maybe he thought he was calling me three different yeah. occasions, but it probably like so beeped off. He's still talking. Yeah, 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 probably. But uh I still have it, and I blame Nancy. Nancy Lippincott. I said your full name. I blame you. Okay. She. I gotta get her on this podcast. You don't know her, but we've had some times. Yeah. But now she's like has a family. <laughs> You know, I, that's like she, she's not a comedian, right? No, that's my favorite. My favorite. I don't. I write. I like don't drink with comedians because it's uh, any time it's been like this is like this is work or this is dodge or there's like you can't male really comedians. Be yourself. Like yeah. oh, some lots of male comedians are nice, but I've had the odd shady experience mm. where I'm like, oh, you're about to rape me. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Can we say the R word? Is that going to get mo- unmonetized? <laughs> One male comedian, when I started out, I was like, I can't believe I'm saying no means no. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Anyway. Will you but- tell me who after? I will. He's got he's gotten in trouble since, and it's funny because like I was kind of like whatever. It was probably a bad night, and then years later I heard that like a a, a coven of girls went and got him taken down. I was like, oh no, this guy w- turned out to be very bad. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you after. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. I want to stand. And then there's like yeah, and then you're like, oh, you'll make friends with a male comedian, and then some girl will be like, yeah, he did this, and I'm like, oh, I gotta cut this guy out. But anyway, I know there's it's so much. It's a little toxic and a lot of drinking and a lot of yeah, yeah. But so um, but with my non comedian friends. Like when I went home and I was uh, I did my like first solo show there, like my first mm-hmm. headlining, which was so much fun. But yeah. there's like my two childhood friends. I will consistently always come out to shows, and they're one of them has a PhD. The other one works for AstraZeneca. They're like wow. crazy intelligent, and like I find like strong, independent, crazy intelligent women are like the ones that part when they let loose, they party. Yeah. So like they were, we met them at the restaurant. I don't drink before uh, gigs and they had like a bottle of wine each and they had their friend who was like chill and cool from Canada and she also had her own bottle of wine um, and then they were like drinking loads during the gig and they were like interactive but like in a fun way Yeah. and then afterwards my dad was like oh would you not go and it was something like would you not go downstairs or do something like that and then my friend was like actually shout out Gina Scales. She was like, <laughs> she was like Oh no, I couldn't. Not, not yet. I've only had eleven drinks, and but she said it like like dead serious. Oh my god! <laughs> but then we partied the whole night. It was so much fun. Yeah, that's they're just nice. the best. Yeah, you can eleven really drinks. Whew, yeah, that's yeah. what they recommend in a month. I feel like eleven <laughs> drinks though is like probably like four drinks here. Like you guys do poison people here because in Ireland it's just twenty five milliliter and, and that, that's all it can be because mm. um, they have like a little presser thing they press it up oh, uh, I see, I see. whereas here it's like let's pour for forever and yeah, yeah, kill yeah. you a three count and you're yeah. just like this is three it's like, shots I didn't want that. I don't know where my nose is yeah it's like yeah. now I have to tip you like ten dollars I didn't even I just wanted a regular drink I don't want to be lost in New York <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst I love drinking in Ireland love 
my best time drinking is in Dublin and going out and everybody's so nice and everybody's friendly like here it's like clicky people go out with their crew no one talks if you talk uh, and that's your thing if you're like hi you're like oh no is this a weirdo who's gonna kill me whereas in Ireland for the most part it's like hi and you're just having the chat you're like when we were out we were did a silent disco we were dancing with other people my friend was changing their songs it was all good fun but then it wasn't like let me murder you now or or whatever or it wasn't like ew don't you come have our some weird experiences in new york, <laughs> new york <easy. laughs> you've been watching a lot of svu girl i do <laughs> i do because mostly people aren't trying to murder you well I'll, g- I'll give you have this sex with you when i yeah well that too Ugh. um <laughs> in ireland it's just a smooch at the end of the night you know um, a smooch um, but i uh, love a smooch um, but with the uh, Okay, so when I was back in Dublin, everybody was saying, how, like, you or everybody was very polite. You'd bump into someone and they were like, oh my God, sorry. Yeah. Or like, oh, hi. Or like, you just, yeah, everybody's yeah, yeah. so friendly. And I forgot about that. And I, and I forgot, like, oh, I should smile when I'm walking around. And like, um, I should be like, oh, sorry too. So I had to like retrain myself. And then I come here and literally I'm walking to this podcast and some guy looks at me and I smiled. And then he was like, like, with all his like missing teeth. And I was like, oh shit, I forgot. I'm not meant to do that here. You know? <laughs> because you're, you're letting the wrong people in. Yeah. Whereas, that's it's just different i guess i don't know why in ireland it's just different yeah it's different what a nice way to put it it's different yeah it's very um i see what you mean it's Um, a very polite culture too it's like really important to be polite and wave to people and say hi yeah i do that still in new york i say hi to my neighbors and anyway oh yeah your neighbors is fine yeah yeah yeah. but i mean like you you walking down the street here if you bang into someone they're like like mad, mad that you exist they'll shout yeah. at you whereas that would never be like oh my god I'm so sorry like it'll be like oh yeah have yeah. a nice day well <laughs> you're also a woman women are very like I'm sorry you know oh no but and I mean th- even the men in Ireland like there's none of that like let's say if you like I'm walking here <laughs> like if you did that in Ireland they'd be like alright right, an episode of The Sopranos so now that's so embarrassing do you no. know what I mean there's no like beeping or I don't know like the culture is not like lift you up and move you out of the way or yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. it's just like I all this way you, you know there's like and there's no like rush either like oh yeah. there's a queue here or uh, whatever you guys call it a line for Starbucks <laughs> it's like grand I'll just wait there's not like need my coffee well I have to go to work at 10am so these seven people don't have lives and I don't care about you know what I mean it's like a weird that's also a new york yeah mentality. New york. yeah not yeah. america because then i went to the south and people were being so nice and i was like are they like are they messing with me but yeah it was just they were just being nice i, I forgot know. again the midwest as well yeah where did i just come from i just came from denver? somewhere denver yeah. and they, everybody was so nice fort collins everybody was so yeah. nice yeah, they're just like they're yeah, sitting no on way. dylan's face they're sitting on dylan's face <laughs> dylan's bringing the light out of everybody i'll yeah, tell yeah, you that yeah. <laughs> jesus what a moron i mean just the quickest scale from hot to absolutely not yeah. poor dylan i don't know his last name so i can't get sued uh <laughs> and it's, it's my opinion fine. it's, it's my opinion that he stinks but the class was very good i will say that he knew how to work your body yeah i nice. bet, yeah, I bet he does that like, with a lot you're of you're going i want to get a good body to be with this guy <laughs> i mean yeah i mean it was a really good workout yeah, yeah. but god just Oh, yeah, I did like he played a lot of Taylor Swift. I like oh. that. I love Tay Tay. Do you like Taylor Swift? Oh, it's like fine. I get judged so hard for loving Tay Tay. Oh, no, big love, fan love of Tay Tay. Yeah, yeah, I love her. I love people that people don't really know about over like Seagrass. Oh, that's like the that's like the that's the she European knows it Taylor, before it's Smith, cool. Taylor Swift. Oh, no, 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 I just don't think it. Well, maybe I think Seagrass will get cool here, but uh, who's Seagrass? Uh, she's like, a, I think she's Norwegian, maybe. Um, Bjork uh no <laughs> did you mispronounce bjork did you just say it's it sounded like you just balked at me like you just turned into a chicken fuck yeah. Yeah. Um, no yeah. uh she's cool um, uh, she was she came here and it's like really expensive to see her in ireland and she came here it was like 35 dollars oh was really like, thank you That's so i like cool. when they don't make it oh here sorry but just because it's cheap for me to yeah. say i would you- love to make it somewhere else and then just you know what I mean? Like oh, be yeah. big and like, I don't know, Amsterdam. When I went back to Ireland, now I only did 70 seater shows. Um, So I did like one 70 seater at Whelan's and one 70 seater at Crack Den. And they both, so like I hit up both these places and Whelan's was like, we have a 50, 70 or 250. And I was like, oh, I'm just, I'll go in the middle. I'll chance my arm, I'll, you know, try with 70. And then, but then this other place hit me up and they were like, we have a 70 seater. And then I was like, shit, this other guy is, was like really good to me in the past. And I don't want to say no. And so I was like, I'll just say yes to both and whatever, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. see what happens. But both um, sold out and it was amazing amazing and it was like great money and then I was like why am I in New York <laughs> yeah you know and like I, I live off of here but I also live off it because I run around the fucking city yeah and I MC a lot and I love MCing but it was also like I just did one show a week I headline and I mean I'm sure 
that you'd have to like go get a car and go around the country but it's also like it's not a bad life there and then a lot of the comedians like get on tv quickly or yeah. I mean they're always complaining about it but I'm like this seems nice but also it might be different because I'm coming back from New York but yeah I mean like for comedians who just are in a place and you're like doing well that yeah. sounds lovely and you get like you, you can talk relax so fast. it's incredible I'm sorry no 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 it's amazing I was just literally I was like well, how do who thinks that fast <laughs> yeah it's incredible ADD. very impre- ADD okay all right there um, it is <laughs> do you still drink a lot I've cut back significantly yeah yeah, I had you, to because ha- I was killing myself slowly. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you found it's like really <laughs> unsafe, you know, where you're just yeah. like even just falling. Yeah. Um, well, it just felt like I stopped drinking and then I lost a bunch of weight. And I was like, oh, this is I'm hurting myself <laughs> when uh, your body is retaining that yeah. stuff and it's making you feel worse and slower. And like, oh, yeah, you're yeah. like, oh, I got to this has got to be just a fun time. And you thing. just feel depressed the next day. That's yeah. awful. And you have to be like, I know it's the booze, so don't jump out the window because in New York, they have suicide windows, too, which we don't have in Ireland. <laughs> what the hell? We have suicide windows? <laughs> yeah. I because, didn't know about this. <laughs> because in Ireland, most of the places, well, you live in like two stories and even then it's like a small window you open you can barely put your arm I used to have to stick my head out to have a cigarette out um, <laughs> so it would be really hard to like jump out your window but here like I just lift up the windows in my apartment they fly up I could just jump right out like Superman but crash land do you know what I mean it's woof woof this <laughs> <laughs> suicide oh, windows it's boy. not safe yeah how depressed new york people are i'm yeah, surprised that's true i feel like new yorkers we're doing okay in terms of depression you go upstate new york that's when it gets real sad oh, really? oh yeah 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 well uh-huh. there's also a lot of fentanyl up there yeah yeah america's crazy yeah i found since i <laughs> since i stopped drinking as much um there was like a time where it was like, oh, I just don't want any because I wouldn't know like my control yeah. or whatever. But now that I'm like in my 30s and I'm like 32, so I can say in my 30s. I'm not like, you know, when someone just turns 30 and like, I'm in my 30s and you're like, shut up. <laughs> like 32 is like, I can finally say that. But um, I like like a glass of wine. Mm-hmm. Like I start to crave it now to relax. Like mm-hmm. the other day I had gigs, but I wasn't even at New York Comedy Club. But I was like, I'm just going to go and have a glass of wine with Reg. And I was like, what the hell? Am I old? That's like, no, very, it's nice. It's just very relaxing now. Yeah, Whereas yeah, before yeah. it was to be fucking buzzed. Yeah. Um, and I know. It's, yeah. The mission changes. Yeah. Yes. Now it's like, I just need to be like this. <laughs> I just need to just exist. Yeah. And with my shoulders down. It gives me <laughs> acne, though. It gives you acne. Yeah. Acne, yeah. Because like, whiskey is like my drink to be like, I'm going to dance on a table. Uh-huh. And I love whiskey. I can drink it straight. And it's yeah. like, fine but wine is like my relax I'm an old person I just want to have two glasses but every time I, I wake up with acne the next day and it's kind of annoying because like, this is my old person drink don't be giving me young yeah, person yeah, yeah. problems like, oh. I have it right here and I had two glasses of wine didn't I <gasps> it was like the next morning I woke up with it that's the worst no ah curse you wine gods yeah whatever though so this is the time oh, in yeah. the podcast <laughs> where I like to ask if there's anything we didn't get to any stories that we didn't get to let's see with drinking or Did, drugs whichever. or drugs i i uh you know i was i i had a joke about how i was spiked with um ecstasy and i um, mean it's, it's actually my special but i might cut it because i just saw another comic who's very very successful with the exact same joke and it's just she would have never saw me i wouldn't have saw her it just yeah, happens yeah. that we both were spiked with ecstasy and had a fucking great time <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah i might i might cut it but it's so disappointing when you're like i'm like oh i wish this was already out before I, yeah. or whatever uh but like that's crazy that we both but i guess there is but i because i would have never willingly done ecstasy i feel too guilty um, cause especially my dad worked in the drug squad for so yeah, long and yeah, I guess yeah. the only parent I have a relationship with anymore, yeah yeah, so. yeah yeah I gotta keep this one happy yeah the other so, one's impossible this one I can manage yeah and I just saw the effect of drugs on so many people like so many you know there's so much they don't say with like weed and stuff that you, it is true if you have especially if you smoke weed when you're young your brain is still developing so I just mm. was like afraid um, but yeah I got spiked with Xy. I had a great time made out a What'd bunch with my friend who's a woman okay <laughs> I could see Sig- Sigur Ross music you know I could see like the blue note oh coming like out synesthesia of the- yeah I guess so yeah um, so yeah I got to try my little lesbianness, which I <laughs> <laughs> I keep trapped up real inside <laughs> yeah it's just a mouth is <laughs> a mouth if me and Leela never break up I'll go down that road But oh uh, yeah yeah I mean or if he dies I don't think we'll break up he'll probably die first Jesus, what the hell is because happening men in die this first. episode? Listen, when he dies because with men, his moly back. Because men die first. So I'll be like 70 and then I'll go to like an old gay bar um, and it'll be fun. Um, or you could try it with him. No, no, no. I'd be too jealous. Too jealous? Oh, yeah. I can't see him with another woman. I what if the woman was only interested in you? 
Mm, okay. <laughs> uh oh, sorry, Leland. I might have screwed that up for you. <laughs> but then it opens the door for what if he? Because I know he's like a little gay. So what if he wants to like have a man? I, I got to be fair, and I don't want to see him with a man because I'd still get jealous. You still get jealous with another man? With him with another man? Yeah, yeah, because I'm not like men where they don't see women as a threat. I'm a woman where I like you could leave me for that guy. So yeah, I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to mess with that stuff. Yeah, but like. If he's a little bit gay, that just means you can buy a strap on. Oh, right? yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I could do that. You'd be like, I could be Chad. You want me to be Chad? I'll be bigger than Chad. Here we go. <laughs> Call me Chad. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see in 10 years. We'll be bored. I'll come back on this podcast and be like, we're doing everybody. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad. Do You we'll do we'll you. See. But yes, so yeah, that was it. Uh, when another time someone tried to put it in my drink and then she was like really out of it. And she's like, Katie, so innocent. We got to get her to have fun. I could hear all this. And I saw her Jeez. put it in my drink and then hand it to me. And then I was like, oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good but yeah so that was really i've never done any other drugs yeah i've never i smoked weed in amsterdam and realized on the trip that i didn't want to be with the boyfriend that i was with so oh, that was really intense that's a tough one yeah it made me feel like icky in my body and like paranoid and like mm-hmm. uncomfortable i was like and out of control of my thoughts so i don't like that shit so i haven't done it since good for you yeah i'm a one and done yeah i am um... I do edibles to go to sleep oh. or I used to. I'm doing much better now of just falling asleep on my own. Although last night was not a success story. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but I find well, like I'll have an edible and then I'll start like overthinking my career and overthinking everything and being like, you're a failure and blah, blah. And then I can talk myself out and be like, you're just on drugs right now and that's yeah. okay. Everything's going to be fine and blah, 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 blah. So I'm able to like finally come back out of it yeah. and then just be like, just you're meant to just sit and relax. Yeah. It's okay. And then that's go good, though. That's good. Because that's like a good muscle to train. Because when you have negative thoughts anyway, it's not your your brain thinking. Yeah. I saw that on a TikTok. Oh, they good. were like, it's like your ego. Hashtag science. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Oh, my God. I also <laughs> saw that we're actually Martians. So, guys, I'm not even from Ireland. You're not even from America. We're technically from Mars. So oh, fun. Yeah. I believe I believe everything. I saw one TikTok and the guy was talking about how um, capitalism is actually good. And I was like, OK. But then halfway through the thing, he was actually being sarcastic and was actually pro-socialism. And it was only a one minute clip. But I went from being turned into a capitalist capitalist to turn into a socialist in wow. one minute i was like wow i am really i am the person who should not be on the internet yes yeah. <laughs> it really works that's what me. i say i say i'm so gullible i know i was like okay i guess capitalism isn't that bad yeah. oh oh, I oh always, it is bad yeah. <laughs> socialist. i get it i always say like i started writing a joke about this about how i'm um i'm a liberal and so therefore i'm prone to being uh like in a cult Oh, just yeah. because you're like you have to like I can I'm so gullible because yeah. I'm like you have to be open to everybody everybody yeah. has a thought and you have to no. entertain it yeah. and then I'm just like over here being like well the world might be flat you know yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love I can't. conspiracy theories yeah, I de- definitely think we're flat yeah conspiracy theories are turning me into a Republican That's but you know you, yeah right yeah <laughs> but you know what and it's like so different I because I come here whereas and you're not your uh, politics aren't your identity in Ireland mm-hmm. so you can be kind of like oh I like this part but I like that part whereas here it's people's identity so if you're like oh, I don't really like the way Republicans do that mm-hmm. a person's like fuck you and it's like I'm not talking I'm not talking about yeah, yeah, you yeah. but um, the the where they said that we were Martians I know that I was kind of believing it because I was like well that's a- but then where did the Neanderthals come so I wonder did they come and did they wipe out the Neanderthals and I'm like what am I doing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're obviously not from Mars <laughs> you're like whoa i'm really this is too much okay yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, no i get it you can go down that rabbit hole tiktok that's what they'll do too much yeah one minute videos they make it so enticing i know i mean especially if the person's pretty but you know that music where it's like (laughs) (laughs) and i'm like yeah or they wait or they're doing a task (laughs) they're just doing a task and then you're just like what is it going to be at the end and then it's nothing and you're like i wasted my life or they're doing like they're making something or they're painting and you're like oh this is cool i'm watching the painting they're like and then god ate all the sheep or you're like wait what am i listening to this is the wildest i can't it's so (sighs) crazy yeah and then there's a lot of like race stuff on it as well it's too much it's so much because i'm like okay like and it's like all all these things but it's also like counteractive and again and i'm like i liked one thing and now it's all about how like i know i'm seeing all sides of it i'm like jesus (laughs) these people hate these people i'm not even from these places yeah yeah 
<laughs> I know. Well, speaking of social media, you like that transition? Where can we find you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm at Katie Boyle Comic um, on everything and uh, please listen to my podcast The Shift Caitlin said she'll come on it soon I said I'll do it Yay. I'll do it I have a studio now as well and then uh, if anybody's in Texas I'll be in Houston again which is like when you and Sam were talking about that I did Houston um, in August and then they booked me again mm-hmm. and I'm the like riot? Um, no secret group um, oh fun but it was when I did the big room which they were surprised a bit about which was also offensive because they were like oh we had to use the big room and I was like I'm I'm also surprised so but thank you but also okay like you don't get to be surprised yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i get to be surprised. yeah but so they were like oh we'll have you back and then i'm like yeah shit i gotta like i got like a month to write new shit i know <laughs> i know it's, it's that's fine. the worst part but yeah, yeah. it'll be fine some stories yeah <laughs> we got stories yeah. yeah well katie thank you for doing the pod yes this was you. fun what a jolly good time thank you so much fun great time you sorry for it. the dark stuff no i liked it it was good keeps yeah. us humble yeah huh Bye. Bye.